everybody. Tis I the Rumpel One. I'm making this video for the uh, EDC Everyday Carry Forum. Uh, what I carry. Okay, usually in my right front pocket, I have my keys. And on it, got a Swiss Army knife. As you can see, this one's a couple of decades old. Fell off. And I tell you, if I had a nickel for every time I use these tweezers, in fact, in the past couple of weeks, I think I've removed three or four splinters. I've been out working with wood, splitting wood, building things. So, that's one of the things. And also, my Leatherman Wingman, or Sidekick, is what this one is. The reason I have it is because it's got a uh, belt clip. I've already got a couple real Leathermans, the original type that come in a little other pouch, but I always carry that with me. Now, in my left front pocket, I usually have some Tic Tacs or Certs or some type of breath mint. I also always carry a pen, something to write with, and a chapstick. Then I also carry my little coin pouch. And in it, <laughs> I always have a guitar pick. Never know when I'm, somebody wants to jam, so I always carry one of those. Learned that way back in uh, junior high. Good old Bob Hattrick. Shout out to you, Bob. So that's pretty much what goes on in the front pocket. Now, left rear, the wallet. Yeah, you know, the usual ID, credit cards. But I got this little zipper comp compartment here. And what I have in there is besides money coins quarters nickels dimes that I used to carry around for pay phones which you can't find anymore but uh, once again another guitar pick and a P38 except this one's actually I think this is a P58 this is the larger one a can opener just in case you never know so that pretty much rounds out what goes in the pants pockets then I have this little roll that I have together with the rubber band and it's just a bandana and I've got a lighter I don't smoke but you never know you might need that and I've got it with these little flashlights that are pretty bright so that's my EDC. Now this EDC is just designed to take care of any immediate type situations. You know like you get in a car crash you want to be able to cut your way and break your way out of a car. Or like I said if I'm working and I get a splinter. You know it's not a uh, bug out bag you know it's and it's really not geared towards self-defense there's other things that are, are better for that but this is just what I carry you see it's not too heavy not too bulky this usually goes in my jacket pocket or if it's summertime I can stick this in the, one of the right the front pocket oh the only about the only other thing I do carry and I usually wear carpenter jeans or cargo jeans so that goes in the in the uh, right pocket is a cell phone, a smartphone. But that's it. So just thought I'd share for you guys. Uh, there's really nothing too much to be gleaned from this. It's just what I carry. So there's no right or wrong way. You just have to figure out what works for you. And above all, you know, if you uh, fail to prepare, then you're preparing to fail. And if you're not preparing to survive, you're preparing to be a victim. <laughs>